They do a little bit, but not much. Wow! Look at this one singly made. It's pretty much just data drain, but uh, whatever. Professor, we are receiving an urgent call from Cherry Dynamics. I will patch it through. Sanda, Sanda, no, oh, Sanda. Thank goodness. Great Graham here. Oh, I wish I could skip this. Right now. <clears throat> I'm kind Mr. enough Graham, to let you guys. What a stuff. pleasant surprise to hear from you. Drop the axe, Sanda. You don't like me, and I don't like you. But we need your help. It's our factory here. It's out of control. It's cranking out hostile bots, and we can't stop it. Confirming. Confirmed. Defective Cherry Dime robots are rampaging throughout the city. God, Zooks, that is not good. We'll send help right away. Right, William? Uh, yes, yes, of course. But, Mr. Graham, one question. What makes you so sure Blackwell is behind this? Sonda, who is this idiot? Who else would it be, boy? That smelly old fart is obviously out for revenge. Now stop asking stupid questions and send help! Whoa! Pleasant as always, that Mr. Graham. Sonda, I'll take the mighty numbers and handle the situation at the robot factory. You take call and find Dr. Blackwell at the prison. Yes, you mean go myself to the prison? Like, actually, physically go there? <sighs> I suppose it's the only way to contact Dr. Blackwell under the circumstances of this. <sighs> but are you sure you don't want to swap? Missions? I, I think you, of all people, would, would want to see him, right? On the contrary, I'd be quite content to never see him again for the rest of my life. Alright, so basically, this is our Wily Castle Attention. levels that are not related, that are uh, not actually part of any kind of. They're just all. It's just gonna be three of their own thing, two of them right now, and one more after this. So, we have the prison, the robot, and the robot factory. And then, uh, final level. And of course, this DLC mission I'll show you after we beat the game. Uh, so the prison, we actually play as Call. Any prison built to hold a genius like we'll just need. And basically, Any Call has a shield, can fly, and is huh. more about stealthy. Huh. Avoiding enemies you have all... than mighty. There's not that much. I mean, it's different. But... Ready? Go! All right. This must be the main prison building. Dr. Blackwell's cell will be. Basically, we have to find keys and into the next room and everything. We'll need key cards to access the maximum security wing, Doctor. Please wait here. Ooh, she can fall. She's got a gun that doesn't fire. It's a little stronger. I don't even know if it's stronger. It's just... Basically, you just ignore these guys. You could avoid them, or you could not. It's really your choice. But uh, you want to avoid taking damage because that's going to be—you're going to need all the help you can have for the boss. Because the boss has got some attacks that are only blockable for a certain part of the fight because it requires a resource that doesn't recharge to block it. Yeah, it's really well designed like that. Yeah. Charging complete. It's used as a battery. It does, um, I skipped it out of instinct because I've had to replay this level a bunch of times when I first did it. But, uh... Did 
gist of it. The barrier. Amazing. Yeah, really amazing. The only thing you can do in that situation. Basically, you're just gonna die from the spikes of the boss. That's if anything else goes, you would be kind of weird. Ah, yes, this this door is locked electronically. Honestly, yeah, for the most private level. Fine. He's saying Cryogen is level to Cryogen itself. Once you got the uh, explosive weapon, the mini boss isn't that much of a big deal anymore. You just kind of shoot these things without any real indication of damage and they go off. A fuse goes off on them eventually. I don't really know what to say other than that. Your attacks are really weak, so the enemies you got are really weak. You don't have, like, Vex ability, because that's Vex ability. Though, uh, Ray has that ability, too, actually. No, I guess you have to actually shoot these fucking things. Let me call a little funner to actually play as. He went and made her a character. See, the trick is to just duck. So what you want to do is make him dizzy while he's attacking. So he, uh, kills himself. Boom. Easy peasy. Interesting. What is it, Cole? I often detect an aversion to combat in Beck's vocal patterns, while I have no such reluctance. Question. Yeah. Why would Professor Call's Wolf just include a that hesitation generic in his design? Yes. No feelings, illogical. robot. It's supposed to have feelings, yes. but uh, well, that, uh, that doesn't mean I have feelings for Beck. Yo, Dr. Sonderman! Did you call some call, huh? <laughs> make, make like, all reach. the other Mighties have more I personality than him, even if they're all one new character. Even if they're not the most not annoying characters, there's more to him than Mighty. It's or not nine. only Beck. All of Professor White's designs have such contradictions. Oi, oi, oi. Save it for the second game, right, Call? Jesus Christ, I hope not. Uh. I'm forgetting I have this, uh, barrier. Wow, I'm doing really bad, I'm sorry. Sprinter. Yeah. Just getting this thing out of the way. It's annoying. I'm making sure she doesn't have the down dash. I never thought about it before. So yeah, this is where you're gonna die if you die in this level. Oh, I the dash and the hover are not the same thing. Easy to forget. Ready. Just give them color, they don't attack anymore, I'm pretty sure. Ready. 
You do need to use your dash for some parts of this. Yeah, this is uh, an infuriatingly precise spot. It's so precise, and yet the hitboxes go out a foot away from the spikes on both ends, so... It's an incredibly tiny spot you can actually get through and not die in that area. It's just badly made. It's just badly made. It's not reasonable at all. It's not like this game was touted for its difficulty or anything. It's just bad. It could be an enjoyable game if they just cleaned up the bullshit. There we go. But now we only have one shot at the boss, and we're not at full health. Just the way I like it. Boss is not too difficult, but like I said, there's an attack you can only block for a certain part of the fight because there's only one way to block it, and it requires a resource that you drain and can't recharge. So, and it's complete luck based on what uh, pops out of the box as the boss is giving you. There's one that damages what, and one that heals it. Do you remember so you just, got, you just gotta hope you get the right one. See, this is bad, because we got this so early, we're gonna lose our uh, barrier, and the barrier is the only thing that blocks a certain attack that you really can't get around. See, he does this, and there's really nowhere to go. And then, look, he's got almost all his health still, so we're gonna have to deal with the whole fight like that. So you see what you're doing here, you knock the enemy over, he's blind, he eats it. If it's the bomb, it damages him, if it's another enemy, he gets his uh, eye back. And it's completely random, so there's no controlling it yourself. It's just a waiting game, it feels like, sometimes. Alright, let's hope he doesn't get the eye for the next one. That'd be so convenient. See what I mean? If he gets the one that gives him the eye back, well, we're gonna be out of barrier energy. And that's that's the one that gives him the eye. Well, we got rid of it pretty quick, so. Give me the bomb. Nope. Luck's not on our side. I don't even think we damage him when we take the eye out again, do we? Fire. Yeah. See, now we don't have a way to defend against that. We got the hover, but the hover ain't gonna do much that good. Yeah, there's the boss. Fucking dead. Alright. Mission! Player! Yee. Yeah.